Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video we will see how to create public group and how we can use that public group in Salesforce. So let's take an overview what we will learn in this video. We will see what is public group, then what are the uses, then which type of user we can add in the public groups. Then I will demonstrate you how to create public group. Then using the scenario I will demonstrate you how to use a public group in Salesforce. Now let's see group in Salesforce. Now the public group are consist of a set of users that means that means we can create a set of more than one users it called as a group. Then this group are created to group of users who are in the different profiles. That means let's say we have two profile employee and manager. Then the employee profile users created some report and they saved in the private folder. Now only employee profile users can access that report. Now using the group we can add different different profile users in the same group and we can share the report folder with that particular group so that every user in that group can see the report. Then the very important point is only Salesforce admin or delegated admin can create the group. Now here are some uses of public group. The public group can used in sharing rules to share the record. That means whenever you want to share the record using sharing rule, you need to specify with which users you want to share the record. Now in this situation, we can create the group of users to whom we want to share the records and we can share the record within the group so that every user which is present in the group can access the shared records. Then it can be also used in access reports and dashboards. I already explained the example for sharing reports and dashboards. Then we can also share the list view in groups and you want to display that list view only particular users for that you can create the group of users and you can give access for that particular group. Now when we create the public group in that group we can add users then roles then roles and subordinate and then other public groups also. That means when we add the users we can add different profile users in the same group. Then when we add the roles, all the users who were assigned that particular role, they will get added to the group. Then when we add roles and subordinates, all the users of that particular role and the other roles under that selected role will be get added to the group. The video link of roles and subordinates I have given in description box, you can go through it. There I have explained how we can create roles and role hierarchy in Salesforce. Then we can also add the other public group. That means if you have any other public group, that group also you can add to the, the new public group. These all things we will see further while creating the public group. To create the public group, in the quick find box search for the public groups. Then under the users you will get public group, click on it. Now here I already created employee group and then sales group. I am create now I am creating new group here I am entering sharing group this is the group label as you click on group name it will automatically populate because it's API name that API name we can use in Apex then visual force pages then uh, LWC also and now as we see what we can add to the public group here you can see we can add other public group then roles then roles and subordinate and then users First I will show you add the users. Now here I am adding Evans Emma, then Henry Smith and then Alex Smith also. To add the users click on add button. Now we added the three users. Here you can see from the available members to the selected members. Now we will add other public groups. As you click on it here you can see I already created employee group and then sales group. As we click on employee group and then click on add button. And now we added other public group also. Now as I click on the roles here you can see all the roles will appear here and here you need to select which role you want to add for the group. Now if I add the CEO group now the all users who assign for this CEO role will get added to the selected members that means this public group. Then we also have the add delegated administrator group then click on save button. Now here you can see sharing group successfully created. As I click on the sharing group and then view all users, you will see group members. That means the whichever user we add to this group, it's called as a group member. It's very simple like in this way we can create the public group in Salesforce. Now very important thing how we can use this public group in Salesforce. For that 
let's take n scenario now first i want to share the reports to the multiple users at once now if we don't have any public group what we can do we need to share report each and every user particularly but as we have public group we can add all users in the group and we can share the report or the dashboard at once now let's jump to the org here i will show you how you can share the report for that navigate to the report tab here you can see lead status report as i click on drop down menu here we don't have any option to share the report that means we can export the report but the export the reports means we can download the report and we can use that report in the machine but what if we want to share the report in the salesforce user for that we have seen the report and dashboards are controlled by the folder now to share this lead status report here you can see folder that means this report is under the lead report folder now we need to share this folder for that here you can see as you scroll down here you can see all folders click on it and then here we have lead report folder as you click on drop down arrow of lead report folder here we have option share as you click on share now let's assume we don't have any group and we want to share this report with multiple users so that what we can do we can add multiple users like this but it's very time consuming instead of that what we can do i'm removing these users now here we have option share with as you click on it here you can see users roles roles and subordinate and then public group as you click on public group and then click on names here we will see all the groups that you created here i created sharing group as i click on it and after that we need to select the access here we have view edit and manage access as you click on view access the report to whom we share they can only view this report they cannot edit or they can't man or they cannot manage the report as you click on edit they can edit that report and as you click on manage they can also download the report they can also share the report and that means they can manage the report now here i am entering edit mode only then as you scroll down here you can see the system administrator which can manage the group and then we added the sharing group so that they can use this particular report now as i click on share button here you can see the sharing group has been added and then click on done button in this way we can share the reports and dashboards in the public group in salesforce now there is a second scenario share the record with the group of users now i want to share a particular account to the group of users for that i am navigating to the account object then i am opening this account and then here you can see drop down arrow click on it and we have sharing options as you click on it here you will see add users and as you click on this icon here we have option public group roles roles and subordinates here i am selecting public groups now here you can give the access whatever you want and then click on save button in this way we can share the record in public group in salesforce so i hope you have got an idea about public group in salesforce how we can create it and how we can use public group in salesforce to share the records share the list view and share the reports and dashboard folder in salesforce if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates thank you